Hey, I'm Sophie Kay, and this is Not Fest at Wacken 2022. It's back in 2022 and there is no doubting which band I am stood with right now. It's Gua! Did I do that good? Yes. <laughs> Very good, Sophie. So it's exciting times for the band right now because you're in a new cycle. And do you know what I love about your band is how much effort and how much of a journey it is. It's not just like there's a release. It's a whole journey. Can you talk us through what's all your releases at the moment. That's that's uh, surprising because I put in very little effort to make this thing happen. <laughs> I, I like full release. I like happy releases, full yeah. release. Was it, so your question is about the effort we put into a release? <laughs> I mean, it's hard. It's very hard. Look, you can't make that joke pointing at me right now, okay? Squar is <laughs> the hardest band to be in in the universe. I can assure you that. So at the moment, the new album is out. The New Dark Ages. The New and, Dark Ages. And then you also have the graphic novel, the comic coming as well. Yes. The Duoverse of Absurdity, yes. I've been practicing to say that, the Duoverse of Absurdity, to say it quickly. Yeah. So tell us a bit about the concept behind that. Uh, well, listen, you people harp on the internet all the time about all this crap. So if, the, if all of that actually was real, that's where this story takes us, okay? So listen, there's a... Uh, alternate version of this fellow and this fellow in that reality. So imagine that. What do you think would that would be, Blotha? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that that's it. The new Dark Ages is, I mean, it's not hard to look around and see that we have entered a period that we've seen before when people are, you know, suspicious of science. You've got the struggle between magic and religion and the whole world just looks like there's a massive disease all over the place it looks like the middle ages it's something that we really enjoy for us you know we want to go back to that time when we can stretch people out on the rack and <laughs> yes the good old days you know i prefer the do-overs because guar is more commercially successful because we played country western music in the alternate universe okay yeah there's an alternate version of guar in the other universe like very successful yeah <laughs> and do they look the same no quite different Look much more handsome. Oh, yeah. come on. You're all very handsome. That's right. I'm drop dead sexy. Look at me. I'm sure you do fabulously on Tinder. Oh, yeah. No, I, all the time, man. Grinder. Oh, no, Tinder. Tinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm on farmersonly.com. Oh, yeah. Farmers only. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about because um, <clears throat> you've got your documentary and with that there's a lot of topics coming up a lot of clips of old tv shows where people were terrified about the future and what metal was creating and this divide and this violence do you think times changed much since then do you, or are people still the same people's filters are off and their shock value it takes much more to uh to piss them off and be offended i guess i mean it's it's twofold right it's a little harder because it's easier to offend yes because everybody's so sensitive now. We gotta feel our feelings and talk about them to minutia. And at this point, I don't know. What do you think? We, well, I mean, I mean, yeah, it, the truth of the matter is that it's hard to keep up with humanity's terrible state of just being inhumane to each other. Gwar finds it difficult to compete. You know, we've been cutting off heads for thousands and thousands of years, but now it just looks like, <laughs> you know, humans are doing a lot worse than we are. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, it's a struggle to stay relevant. Let me tell you, when they're all you got to do is turn on the TV and watch somebody's head get cut off. It's, it's not an easy world. It's hard to uh, be satirically offensive when, you know, the Catholic Church normalizes things like sex with children. It's like, well, how are we going to remain relevant if, if, you know, if mainstream religion is doing all these cool things? With them, no, no, I'm trying to stay serious here. Um, <laughs> when it comes to people, oh no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. When it comes people. to people, say on places like TikTok, who are saying who can and can't like metal, who is and who isn't metal, if you had to look down the lens and give a message to those gatekeepers trying to keep metal to themselves, what would your message be? Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, a big fuck you. Your opinions don't matter. 
gatekeeping, you said it best with gatekeeping. That's the worst. It's like anybody, you know, my philosophy is it's okay to like stuff. Yes. If you want to like good old Dirk Schneider over there or Merciful Fate and Billie Eilish in the same day, that's fine. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So what do you think about... But you can't like in sync and metal, though. Why not? Or Backstreet Boys. No Backstreet Boys? No. What about Korn singing Backstreet Boys the other week? They were doing that? Right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> when did that happen? I mean, look, you know, anybody can like anything. I just think it's absolutely absurd. All You know, metal has been excluded. People that like metal, that are drawn to it, are outsiders. Why do they want to put up the same walls for other people? It doesn't yes. make any sense to me. If this microphone didn't cost a fortune, I would just drop it for you right now. <laughs> Don't right there, it. done. Do you have any messages for um, the Gwar fans who are about to see you? Please bail me out of jail after the show when they take me off stage for indecencies that I cannot speak of. Yeah, make sure your butt plugs are in because we're coming for you. Yeah. If I come and watch you now and I want to get noticed in the crowd, what does a fan need to do to get noticed? I shouldn't say. You have to present. Present? Yeah, you, present. You, you know what I'm like talking Like I'm about. presenting now. Hello and welcome to NotFest TV. You know, it's Just like that, yes. That. <laughs> if, you know, but that's, that's, that's old news. You know, girls, you know, they lift their shirts up. We've been begging guys to just whoop it out and do the helicopter yes. through this, while they're crowd surfing, yeah. but they won't because they're, they're scared wussies. of something. They're all wussies. Come on. Women, women have guts. They'll pull out their titties at just a moment's notice, but you can't get a guy to dump out his wiener. That's We've right. We've been trying for years. No one's ever done the little shiny egg or whatever, you know. <laughs> Last question. If you could sum up the band with a film or a movie that's out there, what movie would it be? Road Warrior? <laughs> yeah, Road Warrior. I don't know. Frozen. <laughs> That's a good one too. Would you ever do a, a Let It Go song? I think that would be beautiful. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'd love to. You look so disturbed by that right now. No, no I'm on. just thinking you about. <laughs> you can do it. I'm just thinking about the Road Warrior when the dude says, just walk away. Yeah, just walk away. I should have taken away. that advice 10 fucking years ago and just <laughs> walked away. Just walked away. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for chatting to us here at NotFest TV. I could still be in college right now. No. No, you wouldn't have been. You wouldn't have been. Yeah. You'd have dropped out. Selling weed. I did not oh, go into oh, college. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, you're right. You're right. Be at the You'd probably be making weed. more that money for sense. sure. Hands down, making more money selling weed than doing music and for human sure. human trafficking and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for chatting to us here at NotFest TV, and we'll be speaking to you soon, we hope. And don't forget, when you watch Gwar, present.